Hey guys, so here I'll be teaching you how to convert the Newman projection to a sawhorse projection. In this case, I'll be using this example of 1,1-dichloroethane. And again, in my hand, that's the molecule. Now, as I've shown you just now, there are two different conformers of 1,1-dichloroethane. The staggered and the eclipse, and these are your Newman projection. So, how do you draw sawhorse? Basically, sawhorse projection, we see it from an angle. So take a look at this molecule. This is the staggered conformer where the orange colored ball represents the chlorine atom here. See the one at the top and the one by the side. So if I rotate this molecule at the angle, what do you see? Now you see both carbon atom, carbon at the back and carbon at the front. So when you translate to sawhorse, you draw what you really see here and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you will have this bond first for the front carbon and then at the back the opposite direction. So now you get the bonds here and you insert the atoms. Chlorine at the top, at the side here is chlorine, the other side is a hydrogen. The back carbon here, the back carbon, I see they are all hydrogens. So now suppose you take this sawhorse and you look through this way, through this bond here, what you are seeing is actually the staggered conformer. Right at the front, Newman projection through the carbon-carbon bond. Now on the other side, the eclipse, again, let me try to show you and then rotate 60 degrees. So now it's still staggered, I rotate, this is eclipse, because the front atoms are blocking the back atoms as a whole. Can you see? So eclipse, and for sawhorse, again you rotate this through an angle, do you see now? That you can see this front carbon and back carbon. So to draw it on the diagram, again this bond, connected to the back carbon, all right, and then you insert the back carbon first, hydrogen here, hydrogen, right, hydrogen here, and at the top, hydrogen. For the front, you have here the chlorine, at the side here, a chlorine, and the other side, hydrogen, right. Let me draw a clearer diagram for this right here again. So for eclipse, you draw this template. One, two, three, a bond up, one, two, three. Okay? The same way for the three lines. Because they are eclipse. See that? Translation. Exactly. So I hope by now you know how to translate Newman projection to Sawhorse representation and vice versa. Thank you.